Good morning, my friends. It's Krebs here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of more Thunder. How are you guys getting along? I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different format today. In fact, I'm going to be going over a pre-recorded game. This one is quite awesome. A while ago, I made a video called Dogfighting 101, but I think this is going to be a greater example of just how awesome you can dogfight in some German planes in, the, in this new patch. But anyway, so let's do some introductions here. This is the map Pelilu and Krebs was just trying to land the Krebs way. That's why you might have noticed that my plane was getting repaired and having to take off again. But as the uh, Krebs way to land on an airfield is a very, very uh, risky method of landing. You're essentially landing at about 400, 500, even up to 600 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's a risky landing. You can make it successful. But if you fail, then chances are you might <laughs> take your uh, propeller into the ground first, or maybe you'll lose a gear leg or such. Just depends if it doesn't uh, turn out right, and that's actually what happened there. I still managed to get a proper landing to get repaired. So I'm flying out in the German planes, my BF-109 uh, F4 first over here. Uh, absolutely brilliant plane. I don't know what it is. In 1.27, the German planes I thought were quite underwhelming for what they had to offer. Slow maneuverability, hard to turn around. The energy fighters, the BF-109s, were probably the first uh, planes where first fighters that you're actually feeling like could actually do something. But, and they were also underwhelming with their with their guns. And there wasn't many great fighters. A lot of the lower tier ones were, were far from uh, excellent contenders against other planes. And it wasn't until the BF-109s that it started getting better. But, Ever since this 1.29 patch, I guess the flight models, the damage models, I don't know exactly what it is, but the German planes, the higher ones, BF-109s, um, they feel absolutely gorgeous to fly. Guns, pretty decent. Turn fighting, absolutely great. Energy fighting, fantastic. And I'm really happy with them. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Taking out a Spitfire, going straight for the enemy base. Hello, this is Pelilu. How many times do you play with an allied team and they rush the enemy's airfield and are successful? Wow, I was quite surprised. Actually, just going into the heart of a battle and ready a lot of my teammates there, I was like, man, this is a dream team. This is excellent. They aren't the sort of type that are going to be defending B, the airfield that's far away from the enemy base. They're actually all going balls deep. They're going straight on into the enemy heart, the heart of the swarm, and just trying to take them on at their airfield. I love that. That is my sort of play. I like being aggressive, and this is absolutely brilliant. So, taking down another plane here, great opportunity to be dogfighting, and trying to save as many of my allies as I possibly can, because you can see like a bowfighter trying to take out one of my allies, swooping on down on top of them, and getting on behind them instantly. No problems at all. In fact, this is one of the clips that I put into my latest video about uh, dogfighting maneuvers, the high yo-yo. And originally I thought it was the Chandel maneuver, but the Chandel is actually slightly more different. It's doing a 180 turn, but coming out at a higher elevation at the end of the turn. It's slightly more different. This one is a high, that one was a high yo-yo. Where you essentially you go up into the sky, use that to reduce your speed, and then you swoop on down using gravity to push you back at a fast speed down on top of your opponent. Alright, so Kitty Hawk here. Somebody's already on me. Oh dear. At least enough shots into that Kitty Hawk to send him down into the ocean. But look at the nice turn time on this thing. Even with a 250 kilo bomb attached to me. Okay, you might be asking, Krebs, why the hell are you flying with a 250 kilo bomb? Okay, this has just gotten back onto my chassis. Alright. I didn't originally have it. I dropped it some, some ages ago. You might have seen it actually at the beginning of the video. It takes about three minutes to get a new one but now it's with me and so why am I not dropping it well look at the situation that I'm in it doesn't look like there's as many blues as there is reds as there was previously this is a suicide mission okay this is I'm gonna take down as many of them as I can before I go down I'm not actually trying to go for the MC202 I'm thinking right now I'm thinking yeah he's an easy target could probably kill him but I've got about five guys standing behind me 
Right, it's time we do something. It's time we try to take down as many as they, we can. And lo and behold, it's a fail. <laughs> Honestly, that bomb wasn't actually targeted for that MC202. Maybe I could have actually extended a little bit farther and actually tried to take him out. But the main reasoning behind what I was doing there was I was trying to just drop the bomb, get low altitude. I knew I was going to die. Come on. How many guys on me? I was red, fuming, smoke. That was just a suicide mission. I was taking down as many of them as I could with me. So just get down near the uh, ground. Try to lure those enemies down low altitude as well. Drop that bomb. Let it explode and hope you can take out some guys behind you as well. Only irritating thing though is uh, sometimes that low, low altitude, it just isn't enough if they're trailing a little bit behind you. Hmm, I don't know, maybe that's uh, how you, that's maybe, maybe that's actually why you need bomb activation times, if you guys haven't noticed that. You can actually change the bomb activation times, I reckon maybe 0.5 seconds, maybe, maybe seconds, maybe something less than that, of a uh, timer on it, yeah that would have been decent. Probably could have gotten away, killed some guys. Oh, that would have been epic. Okay, so flying out in my uh, next BF-109 uh, right now. Uh, this is not the tropical version. This is just the uh, standard BF-109. Trying to take out a high-altitude bomber, Blenheim. But the thing is, Blenheims, you know, you have to climb high into the sky to even uh, reach them. And by doing that, you're losing a lot of airspeed. And the Blenheims... You know, they're going to have a lot of altitude up there already. They're going to have a lot of speed generated already. Chances are they're going to get away from you. Because they're not having to climb up or anything like that whilst you're going to have to do that. And so he just flew away. That's the best thing he could have done. There's no point in just trying to ignore me as if I wasn't there because I would have killed him. But he just flew away. That's honestly the best thing he could have done. Alright, so we got another bomb attached to me at the moment. Am I going to use this one? I can't, actually can't remember. Ah... Uh, Sneaky people hiding in uh, in front of the silhouette of the sun. I actually never knew that made a difference, but that is amazing. It actually does. If the sun is is behind an enemy, you won't actually be able to see him. Ah, here we go. This is where the bomb is trying to be used. What a fail, though. <laughs> With no marker to actually show me exactly where it was going to be dropped. Yeah, it was just a guesstimate. Too much uh, momentum behind me. And it overshot far too much, I think. Spitfire, no problem. These BF-109s have so really powerful cannons. They have the uh, MM-151, M151, which essentially is a stronger version of the FF cannon that's available to the lower, lower German planes. All 20 millimeters. But the 151 has an advantage with a faster velocity at which it launches its projectiles and then also has a faster fire rate as well. It's really good on both of those fronts right there. Ishak coming in. I know he's a UFO fighter. We all know that, <laughs> that Ishak, Russian plane, UFO fighter to the max. So taking him out, big priority. Bullfighter, easy kill because he's just going to be sitting, uh, essentially a sitting duck. And <laughs> if he's trying to, if a bullfighter is trying to dogfight and turn fight, he is going to be losing speed like mad. He's just going to be melting speed like butter. So, if anything, that's the wrong way to even try to fight it. He should be trying to be like a boom and zoomer. He should be going, he should be swooping down, almost like a vulture in a way, if you want to make an analogy. But essentially, he's a sitting duck right now. Look at this. Just You can easily get around him. No problems at all. Get behind him. I know I've got somebody behind me. I'm on the black wing, black fuselage, red, red left wing. I'm just thinking, oh my god, I'm going to be dying any second here. Three guys behind me. How the hell am I still not dead? I actually can't believe this. I'm flying on my last limbs. Still trying to take down as many guys. Black! Black fuselage, black wing, red red wing, red wing turning black. Black wings and black fuselage. Why am I not dead? I I can't believe this. The amount of pounding my BF-109 can take. 
that that was that was a moment of brilliance for me. That was a moment of shining truth, in my opinion. Just just to just to see what the new BF109 is in 1.29, it's absolutely brilliant. To be able to take that many shots as a fighter and not get downed. In fact, there's only the only reason I went down, it wasn't because somebody destroyed me, ended up, you know, clip taking off my wing or blowing me up entirely. It's because, yeah, they damaged my wing. It's because I lost control eventually. I was still was I could still fly if I had more altitude. You know, but it's obviously a lot more difficult if you got black winds, black fuselage. I just lost control. That was it. If I had more altitude, probably could have regained control. Okay, so our B airfield has been recaptured by the enemies. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna teach this capture, hopefully a lesson. Bam. BF-110, setting him scorched. That's damage to his right wing. Whether that's a real fire, is that real fire or is that just incendiary? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? But look at this. Coming down on top of him, almost like an Immel Immelman turn. And that's just actually a big loop, if anything. Ah, it's just a big loop. Like coming down right on top. Right on top. Maybe that would have been more like a high yo-yo. There we go. So this is the BF-109 E3 that I'm using. It's tier 6, I believe. And it's got a uh, 20 millimeter FF cannon, so it doesn't have those 151. So it's the essentially the weaker version of the 151, but still, it's it's good. It is good. You can still do a lot of damage with it. In fact, from my knowledge, the uh, projectile weight of the FF cannons is more than the 151. So I imagine what you might be doing is actually unleashing more lead so to say, into your enemy. Alright, so lag trying to take me out. That is actually a fan. That was actually a fan who recognized me. Oh, hey Krebs, he said later, or earlier in the game. I guess he must have tried to come for me, but no problem. And this is what I thought was the highlight of the... of this entire video. The number of guys that are gonna tr try to uh, kill me here. That's already two guys I just downed in this little area. Maybe even three, if you count that BF-110. And now another guy coming in, a lag. No problem. He wants to try to come around me. I know that a lag, it's a early tier. It's a, a smaller, a lower tier than me. I know he's going to have problems maneuvering. I know that the German planes have a great maneuverability behind them. It's still going to be no problem for me to actually take him on. And all I'm using is him as my almost meat shield in a way. I see that there's enemy fighters coming on top of me. Well, I'm just gonna use him as a little bit of uh, a shield. If they want to come in straight on, head on, and try to shoot me, well, chances are they might shoot their teammate a little bit as well. Alright, so how many more do we need to uh, try to take out Krebs? I've just downed four planes here by myself. I've got somebody else behind me. What is that? A hurricane? A nah, hurricane, not, not scary at all. Could have easily able to outturn him. And all it takes is being a little bit more experienced than the other person. Look at that. Reducing my throttle as I go up, losing a lot of speed due to gravity, and that gives me an opportunity to sharply turn on my opponent. And now all I'm doing is powering through it, using gravity to my advantage, getting rid of the bomb, uh, using increasing the throttle so I can increase my turning rate. And look at that. He is just he is just gonna be dying here in any second now. Get him on the cross. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. What is that? A uh, pilot of the hostile aircraft is unconscious. He was turning the wrong way. Easy as that. He had no power left behind him. He shouldn't have been trying to outturn me in a BF-109. But also simply, he just didn't have any... Um, he was lacking a little bit of common sense. When you're, ever, you're turning and you have somebody behind you, you don't turn on your side. See what I'm doing right now? I'm chasing someone, so it's okay to turn on my side. But when somebody's chasing you, you do not turn on your side. What you do is you use your rudder to do the majority of the uh, turning, or else you're going to be exposing a greater area. You're going to be exposing your pilot to be getting shot. And that's how he got instantly killed. Alright, so 14 kills, 4 deaths. Oh my god. That little skirmish right there. I, I couldn't believe it. The amount of people... It wasn't everyone simultaneously on me, but it was one person consecutively on me after another. 
So it was like, okay, downed one guy, here comes another guy. Down that guy, here comes another guy. Eventually, they need about, what, three, four guys to take me down? But if you look at the teams, yeah, that's why. I don't know why. I don't know what happened to this team. It seemed like they were so aggressive and we were doing really, really well at their air, really, really well at their airfield. Unfortunately, that's it. We lost. I guess you could say this was one of my, um... Huh. My, my favorite, most favorite battles to actually lose, unfortunately. So there we go. That's 14 kills. Uh, getting quite a bit of XP. And, and Lions. Unfortunately, that wasn't uh, increased from a win. So it's not as much, much as you could have gotten. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, I will catch you all later. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.